accident. <laughs> Maybe I'll need that. <laughs> no, over here. Over here. Oh, over here. Over here. Oh, yeah. 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 Ambassador, what do you think about uh, Swedish, the Swedish draft? Uh, whatever I thought about the Swedish draft, I think that uh, the priority of the Security Council now, and the meeting was about uh, threats to international peace and security, that uh, uh, aggressive policies uh, of some uh, of certain permanent uh, council members uh, are uh, having and uh, preparations uh, uh, that they are making. Uh, this is a clear violation of the UN Charter. The threat to international peace of security and security is a violation of the UN Charter. Uh, we are very concerned with the situation, with the dangerous escalation. With uh, the, we hope that uh, there will be a, no point of no return. Uh, that uh, the US uh, uh, and the allies will uh, will refrain from uh, uh, military action against the sovereign state. Uh, you understand that the danger of uh, escalation is higher than simply Syria because our military are there uh, on, the, on the invitation of the Syrian government. So the situation is very dangerous and uh, we made it very clear at the, con at the consultations. What, what does the Russian Federation think about the Swedish proposal? Uh, look, we, uh, we just uh, had the Swedish proposal uh, today. We didn't have time to study it. We, I said at the consultations that we are grateful to uh, Sweden for trying to come up with the, with the, with the text on the, on the attribution mechanism. But frankly, in the circumstances we are finding ourselves now, this is not an immediate priority. The immediate priority is to avert the danger of war. Uh, uh, as, to the, as to the Swedish text, we will study it, but the second priority now is for the uh, OPCW, OPCW mission to reach uh, Damascus and Duma and to see what re what's really happened. That is second priority on the list. And the third would be a discussion of the mechanism. And do you have a timetable on that? Uh, you just mentioned that you want to avert the danger of war. The danger of war between the US and Russia is that Look, uh, we cannot exclude any possibilities, unfortunately, because we saw, we saw messages that are coming from Washington. Uh, they were very bellicose. Uh, uh, they know we are there. I hope, uh, I, I, I wish there was a dialogue at, uh, through appropriate channels on this to avert any, any, dangerous, uh, any dangerous development. And Ambassador, what about the meeting that I heard that you will call for a meeting with the SG? I said, yes. Uh, good what question. Good question. Good question. Uh, we said that uh, uh, it would be appropriate that we have an open briefing of the Security Council with the participation of the Secretary General because uh, when we uh, find ourselves in a situation of a threat to international peace and security, this is exactly the time when we need, uh, when we need uh, to hold it openly and with the participation of the Secretary General of the organization. When, when do you want that to happen? Uh, I cannot uh, give you an exact hour, uh, but uh, it will be soon. Uh, I, I will not. I will not. I will not. I will not dwell upon uh, when exactly, but uh, but in in in, in, in the near future. Uh, the last, the last part of the question. So the idea is to have a discussion so that if the U.S. were to fire, that Russian casualties could be avoided or, min or minimized. We want, uh, we want any strikes uh, to be avoided uh, in the first place. Uh, but of course, uh, it is uh, in, even unthinkable to think that uh, the U.S. would strike, would strike uh, uh, some something which is which is uh, Russian military presence in Syria. Mr. Ambassador, the OPCW. Do, do you want to ask my colleague? <laughs> no. He asked for a meeting today. The, the OPCW has said that their investigators are going to start working on Saturday. Are you going to make sure that they get to Duma on Saturday? Uh, we will do anything possible to make sure that 
to do what, what we can do. The Syrian authorities uh, uh, said they would uh, uh, open all gates for them. I mean, they, they are ready to, uh, to accept them and to provide any necessary assistance. Uh, we said we would uh, together ensure their uh, security uh, while working there. Uh, the question, my, 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 my uh, concern is, uh, and my, my hope is, that, that they would be able to be there on time and to, to finish their work. Ambassador, did you come no, away that from nothing this prevents them from doing it. Ambassador, did you come away from this meeting with a sense that a military action is imminent? Uh, n n I, look, uh, this is not the meeting that uh, was deciding on the military action. As you understand, but but uh, but unfortunately, some of our colleagues preferred uh, preferred uh, to focus on other things, uh, pretending as if there was no threat to international peace or security, even avoiding mentioning uh, the issue, which is the most pressing one at all. Sasha Lorenti, a good I friend of mine. I answer that question. <laughs> Don't ask me. Ask appropriate people who know better than I do. Mr. Ambassador, were those countries that you were just talking about that didn't want to do we, had a, to we have a closed meeting, so I'd prefer to keep it, you know, that, that's, uh, that, that's gentlemanly for me, not to mention them here. <laughs> if we had an open briefing, you would see yourself, but you may make a wild guess. But, uh, but you wanted us to ask Ambassador Laurenti Solis something. You called this meeting. Yes. Um, were you satisfied with what happened? What, what's, what's your reaction to what happened? Well, we ask uh, for this meeting because we are concerned about these uh, threats. And uh, if uh, recent history tells us something, those, are, those threats are not just, just threats. A year ago, the United States also strike unilaterally uh, Syria against the UN Charter. So we, we take those threats very, very seriously. And those goes against the United, the, the, the United Nations Charter. And we, as members of the Security Council, have a responsibility, not just for our own country, but we represent the whole membership. So uh, due to that responsibility, we believe that not just the Security Council, the Secretariat and the whole system should uh, upheld the principles of the Charter. That's why we, we convened this meeting. How do you uphold the principles? Respecting them. them we, we, you infor, you, well, the first thing is that uh, mainly the permanent members of the Security Council that have uh, the, the privilege of being permanent and have the, the veto power, those are the ones that should lead by example. And those are the ones that should upheld the principles of the Charter at any, uh, any moment, not just, just when it's uh, uh, for their own uh, convenience. So uh, that's, that's the first thing. The second thing is that we need to mobilize all the system in order to upheld those, uh, those principles. And right now, the main threat that we are facing is exactly these uh, this, this threats. Ambassador Nibensia, may I ask you about Skripal, please? You're both on, you're on Twitter, Ambassador. Your mission is on Twitter. What would you tweet to Donald Trump today? What would you tweet to Donald Trump today? To Donald Trump today? What message no. would you like to send him on Twitter? Uh, maybe I would send him a link of the UN Charter for him to read that. Yes. Ambassador I'm, not I'm not tweeting. I don't have any idea how to tweet. <laughs> on, on, on Skripa, you're on Twitter the OPCW... Uh, got to some conclusions today. Does uh, Russia accept those conclusions? Or I, I, uh, uh, I saw a message that the report of the OPCW mission was sent to member states, including Russia, and the Russian authorities said that they would study it. So it's too early to say what they will reply. I haven't seen it, uh, and it was not uh, yet assessed. Would you consider, Ambassador, a strike against Syria today a violation of international We're not going to strike anyone. To no, no, even if the U.S. <laughs> took Russia, would that be an, a violation of international law in your opinion? May I again permit? Would, it, would a strike by the U.S. in Syria be a violation of international law and the charter in your opinion? In, uh, in your uh, opinion? Of course. Of course it is. Even the threat of... Yes. of, of of a use of force is a violation of a charter, let alone uh, the strike itself. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.